Hey, what's up, y'all? What's poppin' this D? About to react to this video by Forgotten Kings. This is Monique. She has come out to respond to all the, the people who have uh, tried to cancel her <laughs> and, and all the angry ratchets who are, are mad because, you know, she's saying that they look a mess at the airport. So they are pressed about it, and um, she is coming to respond. Um, so we're going to see what she has to say. Um, and I have even more of an opinion about the situation after I have gone and looked at uh, comments on... Um, this topic and uh yeah so we're gonna hear what she has to say and then i'll, I'll put my little two cents in let's watch hey my sweet babies <laughs> um Girl. i've been thinking long and hard about what i'm gonna say in this post because the post that i did friday in reference to us being the best us that we could be it rubbed some people wrong but i want to share this with y'all and there were two people in my life that had I taken a different attitude, I could have felt like they was rubbing me wrong. But I'm glad I took the attitude of appreciation and gratitude because they tapped me. And that was Patti LaBelle and Margaret Avery. Oh. Patti LaBelle had to tap me one night, we were getting ready to do a show, and I was in my feelings over some shit. And that woman had to come tap me and tell me, get myself together. And she didn't tell me with lollipop kisses and pancakes and syrup all over. Period. She told me what I really needed to hear. And I was grateful for that that night because it impacted. That's what gets on my fucking nerves about the internet. Like, they're so aggressive and abrasive and want to cancel people and get so mad. But they want you to be super gentle in your delivery when you talk about some shit that affects them. Some shit that's pertaining to their life, they want you to, to give them the message wrapped up with a bow with, with some kisses on top. That's just not real life. Like, shut up. But you so aggressive and bold about everything else. But let somebody talk about some shit that has to do with you. And it's, oh, I'm offended. Oh, my God. How dare you? Like, pick a side. You sensitive or not? Miss Margaret Avery, I was grateful the night she called my dressing room. And she said to me, baby, focus on getting some more of that weight off of you. Because I see what you're doing. And I'm glad those two women love me enough that they would go out of their way to talk to me in a way that aunties, mamas, big sisters talk to their little sisters, nieces, grandbabies, daughters. I was grateful for that because it allowed me to think about things differently. Never right. once did I think people don't want to hear other people's offensive, opinions, but they sure want to. Uh, give their opinions all the time. Nasty or mean, I thought what it was was nothing but love. So for you babies <laughs> that have taken offense to what I've said, I'm okay with that. Sensitive I'm okay with y'all being in your feelings about it. I'm okay with that. Because when you love somebody for real, I know y'all will get over that. And when y'all say, we will cancel honest. your ass. <laughs> well, they've tried that. And I'm still here. Period. So no, I love you. <laughs> and ain't nothing you can do about that. I love our community. And ain't nothing you can do about that. So if you're offended because I take because I said to you Too bad. You're clean and you're beautiful and when you wear that damn bonnet and your pajama pants and your slippers anywhere you go, don't you know you block your beauty? Don't you don't know you, know you block your beauty? beauty? Let your beauty be seen and shown. See, remember the time we were raising hell because they didn't want us to wear our natural hair. They didn't want us to do the things we wanted to do with our natural beauty. Now, why ever would you block it? Why ever would you block it? So I'm unapologetic about what I said. She said I said what I, I said. said. With nothing but love. Good and for I you. Said it Don't back with no judgment. For the sisters that got it, I'm glad. For the ones that didn't, I'll wait. Mm. Mm. But please know, Aunt Nikki gonna be right here. And when I gotta talk to you again, guess what I'ma do? I'ma do my part. And if I gotta tap you, it's a love tap, baby. It ain't no tap for me to kick your ass or be smart. Cause some of the responses y'all have given, <laughs> I just know that y'all are young ladies. And you don't know who it just yet. But because I do, I won't match your energy. What I will do. That was going in on this lady. So please know. Huh. I still stand by what I said. And to the women that has tapped me out, I'm grateful. And for 
ever appreciative that y'all took the time out to love me when you didn't have to. Yes, Monique, talk your shit. I don't think there's nothing wrong with what this woman did. I cannot with my face, but I'm editing it right now. But I forgot to add how idiotic it is when people are like, oh, Monique needs to mind her business. Do you not realize that you are minding her business? She posted this on her own platform and you worried about it. <laughs> she didn't come in your fucking DMs and tell you what you need to do. You are minding her business. That's literally what everybody does on the internet. We all mind each other business and speak on shit that has nothing to do with our lives directly. You are literally minding her business by speaking on this so you sound dumb telling this woman <laughs> she needs to mind her business when she just put out an opinion on the internet like you do every goddamn day sure you can argue that it's a bit much to make a PSA regarding this but honestly how is that any different than what the internet is filled with the internet is filled with people making fucking PSAs and videos about do this or don't do that or you should be behaving this way or don't behave like that. This is right. This is wrong. That's literally what the internet is filled with. A whole bunch of people projecting their opinions onto other people. So how is this different? <laughs> you do it all the time too. And you leaving comments on Instagram and YouTube and shit, you're projecting your opinion onto other people. That's your opinion, but you're putting that out into the world when nobody asks you. So why can't she do that too? The fuck out of here. People are just insecure. They're very sensitive and self-conscious about every fucking thing on the internet. And when you say something that's pertaining to them, they get real pressed about it. You write these long ass dissertations about how dare you say that? Why can't I wear my bonnet? Da, da, da. Nobody said you can't wear your fucking bonnet, do you? You, you, can, you can continue to look stupid. That is your prerogative. Nobody is stopping you. Y'all acting like we coming in large droves like, no, stop there. Stop with your raggedy bonnet. You can't go any further. Nobody's doing that. We're letting you go to the grocery store, to the airport or wherever and look dumb in peace. <laughs> no, nobody's stopping you from doing that. So continue to do that. But this is our opinion on, on the situation. I just saw something the other week that pertains to me that I could have got so pressed at. Um, somebody made a statement and said that you should not wear braids for your birthday. They was like, stop playing. Go get your hair done. Like, get a sew-in or, or get your hair done for your birthday. Don't wear braids. Like, that's tacky. And there were a lot of people who agree with it. There was a lot of people who didn't, but a lot of people agree with that. I'm wearing braids next month for my birthday. Not these. These raggedy. I'm taking these down. But, uh, <laughs> I'm getting some, some fresh braids for my birthday next month. You, you think I stopped and, and cared about that? And I was like, no, what do you mean? And y'all always trying to come down on black women. And how dare you say that? Why can't I wear my braids for my birthday? No, I didn't do all that because I, I don't give a fuck. And I am confident <laughs> in, in my decision to wear braids. I'm secure in that. So I don't need to aggressively defend it and get all pressed and worked up about somebody else's fucking opinion that I don't even know. Like that is that's weirdo behavior to get mad and angry and 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 get all pressed and write these mean comments to people who don't agree with you. Like what's wrong with you? Y'all need therapy and quickly. I don't care how old you are. Even if you're young in middle school, that's not a reason. You're you're headed to a very dark place. It gets worse from here. I'm saying that. <laughs> as you as you become an adult, your mental health is going to get worse and worse if you don't handle this shit now. Get y'all shit together. Let people have their opinion and, and you can agree or disagree like a normal person and keep it the fuck pushing. Or you don't have to write nothing at all. Who cares that Monique think you look raggedy? Who cares that I think you look like a ratchet? Who cares? Go on about your business, live your life, do what you want to do. Why are you so insecure in your decision to do that? It's weird. Wear your bonnet. Nobody cares. <laughs> it's just a topic and just like the other million Irrelevant topics that we speak on, we're just speaking on it and giving our individual opinions. That's it. Nobody's stopping you. I would never stop no chick and be like, why you got that bonnet on? Or point at her or make fun of her in her face. What the fuck? My sister wear bonnets to the airport. You think I say something to her? No. I let her look like a ratchet. That, I, she's a ratchet. I know that. <laughs> That's her business. I'm going to let her do that and, and keep it pushing. Why would I stop people? Nobody's doing that to y'all in public. So stop acting like that's happening. Like y'all being oppressed. Y'all bonnet wears being oppressed. Shut the fuck up. There are more important things to worry about. And y'all get mad over the dumbest shit. God damn. I'm over it. Anyway, yes, this is Monique's response. I agree with her. 1,000%. And she said she said what she, the fuck she said. And I agree with that too. I ain't apologizing for nothing. I feel how I feel. Just like y'all niggas feel how y'all feel. Y'all got y'all opinions. We got our opinions too. What the fuck? Anyway, uh, that's all I got to say <laughs> about this topic. Uh, I'm done with this whole situation. If she comes out and say anything else, girl, bye, whatever. I don't care. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all thought, though. Let me know what other videos you want me to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.